Hello from Selena and I. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution to the conversation. I definitely agree with your statement that sometimes signing a DNR or going into hospice is the humane thing to do. Let's take a moment to appreciate my new flowers. Since we are on that note, let's talk about DNRs or do not resuscitate orders. If the person is in hospice, they are not required to sign a DNR, but it is definitely highly encouraged and we try to educate the families as to why this is. What's going on? You see, for hospice patients that have no chance of recovery, signing a DNR might be their best bet to die at peace and in comfort. A DNR is essentially a protective form to prevent them from suffering any longer. And CPR is nothing like what you see in the movies and the TV series. It's actually quite aggressive and medical staff might break your ribs or cause other injuries to your body um, that will definitely affect your quality of life. That is, if you were to survive and the chances are very small. In other words, if you are at the end of life, you will not make a full recovery. A good way to ask your hospice patients is something along the lines of if your heart were to stop and you would stop breathing, it is my understanding that you want for nature to run its course and allow for a natural peaceful death at home. I would like the name DNR to be changed to the name allow for a natural death to happen. <laughs> Can there be a petition on that? <laughs> 